Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and run this uh, mount port MP40 watts laser engraver. I'll start from unpacking to uh, the first print. It's not that heavy, but it's big. Uh, just for info, it's 32 inches wide and about 20 inches deep if you need to find a place to put it. Along that topic, you need something to vent the smoke out. Uh, so I got this a cheap, uh, like a $160 uh, uh, vent from Amazon and I have another video to how to set it up. It's like, take you like 10 minutes to set it up. I also 3D printed some parts for it and uh, you can follow my description of this video to get the link. Uh, my plan is I put uh, the engraver here and then uh, vent, vent the air out to the ceiling. The vent tube is inside uh, the engraver and also we get uh, really nice uh, glasses, protective glasses and a goodie bag. Uh, here's the content of the goodie bag. So I got uh, uh, clamps and uh, tapes, a water pump, uh, the tubes and the glasses and the power cord. The white box is glue, and uh, here's a USB-C data cable, a wrench, and uh, and uh, like two pieces for measuring like blocks. However, it didn't come with a USB software and uh, the dongle, and I didn't come with this little thing here. I contacted the manufacturer, and they said uh, the manual is outdated, so they're going to use LiveBurn rather than the software they mentioned in the manual. And this red thing is the one that I 3D printed for the chimney. Okay, let's get started. In the back, you're gonna see one is the water in, and the one another one is the water out. The tubes are connected inside the print, so we're gonna detach the tubes so we can pull it out from the back. The tubes needs to go into a bucket. Uh, the bucket is not included, so here I measure the uh, diameter, which is nine millimeters. Hope that will help when you're making the hole. So now we pull it, pull it out from the back. I don't have a five gallon bucket. I only got a three and a half gallon bucket. I know, uh, how can you not have a five gallon bucket at home? Anyway, so I'm too lazy to drive to Home Depot. For the water pump, so I put the four legs in, or like called suckers. And uh, then I put the tube connector inside. The manufacturer requires distilled water, so I try to make this uh, as uh, dust, dust, um, dust free as much as possible. Also, we're supposed to make the temperature below 75 degrees, and you can see there's a gauge on the top of the printer, the, the, the engraver. So I try to get everything sealed, um, but I have a white like a air filter, so, uh, so you don't have a vacuum inside. And now I can put the tubes in. The intake uh, connects to the water pump, of course. And uh, for the outlet, I connect that uh, little piece of uh, orange tube that, uh, that they gave to us. Actually, it's two and a half gallon bucket. So I'm gonna keep my, my eye on the water temperature when printing. Now we take out this uh, protective uh, paper uh, out of the, the, the window and uh, the blue film on the bottom. And now install the chimney tube. I 3D printed this uh, so I can direct the, the smoke to uh, different directions if there's like a, like a side wind or something blowing, so I can adjust it. Guys, it won't turn on. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it won't turn on because uh, this uh, safety switch, the stop switch is uh, shipped off by default so you have you have to turn it and it's gonna pop up and now let's try beautiful and uh, here's the uh, the control panel and uh, the water temperature gauge the USB-C data port is kind of scary so it's pretty easy to bump on the brick board you can see after the long run, uh, you're going to wear down this, the, the, this uh, USB connection. So I 3D printed this part. 
that uh, you can uh, put uh, your US, uh, USB-C plugs through it. I use some glue to, uh, to uh, glue it on the, on the engraver. I, I would rather to have my USB-C cord broke and then I just change to a new cord and then I'm going to wear down the connector on the main board. Now we're going to install the software. So we go to this website, uh, libraryofsoftware.com, uh, and uh, also I'm going to put uh, the link directly at the description of this video. And uh, so we scroll down, and uh, go. Uh, my is Windows 64-bit. Install the software, fire it up, and click uh, uh, Start Your Free Trail, and uh, then. And click OK and go find my printer and uh, and, uh, and uh, the software is going to find your printer and uh, set your XY be 300 by 200. Here's a really quick tutorial of uh, Lightburn. So here you get a standard like different shapes, square, uh, eclipse, and then polygons, and uh, text. And on your right, you have uh, layers. Uh, this layer concept is like a Photoshop. The, uh, the layer, they already defined the layer. It's not like Photoshop, you can add a la new layer. So this part will take your time to figure out. So layer from 00, zero to zero 01 and uh, 29 layers. Then there are some uh, uh, two path layers, T1 and T2. So let's work with the layer first. I click uh, like a rectangle and I can make a rectangle. You can see automatically it put my layer to layer one, uh, layer zero, sorry. And uh, to make a perfect shape, uh, like a, you can hold down your shift key. So like, so you can get a perfect square. And hold down your shift key, you get perfect round, okay? You can see I, they all put it into the zero layer, okay? So, for example, how can I create another layer? Zero, one layer. As uh, so you select, a, you select. So you go to select two. You select a shape. Let's say this one. I want to put a second layer. Um, so like a second layer, not second layer. That's a layer zero one. And then you come down, click uh, zero one. Then put a different layer. So for example, for the first layer, I want to burn at let's say twenty percent. Okay, and uh, this round, I'm going to put in the layer zero two, and I'm going to burn let's say six percent. Okay, and also you can select uh, if you want a line or like a field. Let's say we're going to burn a BCH. And I want this to be layer number four. Uh, you don't have to have a one layer per shape. I'm just showing you that I can burn the same image with a different level of the laser power or other configurations. So this one, I'm going to burn with a field. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, do another another uh, layer, just cut, it, cut those out. And I put this to layer number five. And this layer, I'm going to cut at 100%. Uh, and I'll cut it because I'm going to cut it through. So I'm going to cut it uh, three times, just be sure. How can you engrave without picture? Let's do a picture. So you go to File and uh, Import. And uh, let's do a picture myself. Whoa, it's big. So what you want to do is uh, make it smaller, and you can hear as a uh, lock. You want to be locked, so when you change one number, the num another number change. If you get un unlocked, uh, those two numbers will not be uh, proportional. So I lock the picture, and uh, let's say do 100 width, okay. This picture, if you burn it, uh, is going to be uh, terrible. 
Oh, by the way, you're on the uh, layer the CO5, and uh, you can see it's in image mode. Uh, the way you you can check it is right click on any part of canvas, go to preview. Okay, you want to get a speed up to forty, so it'll be faster. So let's say play. This is how the uh, how the uh, the how the engraver gonna engrave. The red you're gonna see a red guide on your engraver. So the red is the uh, is the the path that the, that the uh, you I guess a print net going to move and the black is when your laser going to start so you can see I got a really uh, black head so that's okay uh, so we need to change uh, we need to change the contrast on this so the right click anywhere in the picture do uh, adjust image and uh, let's put the the contrast really high that's pretty good but I get a panda eye so I go cookie so I decrease the contrast a little bit give a little detail and uh, I increase the white just to try to remove the panda eye Yeah, no more panda eye. That's good. And now we can click start. The red dot actually is not a laser. The laser is bright yellow. And if you lift the cover up, here's a safety feature I'm going to show you. See, uh, the thing is still moving, but it's not going to burn any, anything. It's because the laser has been shut off and when you, when you lift up the cover. I'll bypass the safety feature and show you what it actually look like when the laser is on. You can see you really need that uh, cover closed. It's, kind of, it's pretty violent. Overall, this is a really good machine and I'm looking forward to make more uh, projects with uh, this uh, laser engraver. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.